WMER, we are committed to helping Maryland rebound from this pandemic and anxious college students are waiting to get back onto campus. As nervous moms and dads wait to find out what that return to campus is going to look like. As part of our Rebound Maryland series, WMAR 2 News Mark Roper spoke with administrators to find out how they are going to make their decisions, which could shape or even change the college experience. The start of a new school year brings students new classes, new professors, and new friends. But there's something else new about the college experience this year. And even though the start of school for many college students is less than two months away, much of what campus life will look like is still unknown. How we're going to socially distance the campus, our dining hall, our resident halls, you know, what is the right mix of single rooms as well as uh, in uh, uh, double rooms and apartment scenario where you can achieve social distancing. At Morgan State University, Vice President of Student Affairs, Dr. Kevin Banks, is tasked with deciding much of what students will experience on campus, but his job takes on a different meaning during COVID-19. We just want to make sure we're, we're maintaining the, the safest environment as possible. You know, we're looking at limiting the number of students in the classroom you know, de-densify the classroom environment, the resident halls. Social distancing at the start of the pandemic had students getting their education from a distance online, which could continue in the fall at some schools. The ideal solution was to look at making sure that all of the classes have the option to go remote and online and, and look at where we have to create additional sections for students. These schools are going to be under intense pressure to reopen if they can in a safe manner in the fall due to uh, issues of tuition uh, and how that impacts uh, the revenue and the budget, as well as housing. Students used to living on campus might find themselves in a new home away from home. We've gone out and uh, secured more, more uh, single room apartments for our upperclassmen students, as well as a, a local area hotel to de-densify the rooms on campus and, and have more single room accommodations. University of the Potomac president and CEO, Dr. Clinton Gardner recognizes even once college campuses reopened this fall, some students might not come back. There will be some students who will decide to take what we call a gap year. They'll decide not to uh, go to school this fall and they'll do something else. Uh, that could be work, that could be uh, travel, uh, it could be a variety of things. But for those who decide to return to school, keeping up with the many changes on campus could be as challenging as keeping up with their studies. We have a, a parents portal that we're communicating with families and, and parents so that they're informed of the changes that are going on. And on a peer level, I think sometimes using the students to communicate with one another important information is probably more effective. Some parents and students say online learning is not the college experience they expected. Tonight at 11, we'll take a look at Who's keeping an eye on universities to make sure that you're getting the quality education that you paid for and what to do if you're not satisfied? In Baltimore, Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.